You can check out his hour-long comedy special on Showtime, Showtime Online, and Showtime Anytime because it premiered a, a couple of weeks ago. And you will see him if you're in Montgomery, Alabama, this very Saturday. <laughs> Gary Owen, right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Good to see you, sir. I think you got a large viewership in Montgomery. You have no idea. We Ticket are sales all just skyrocketed. Place. We are all <laughs> over the place. We are all. Well, you're going to be the, at the Montgomery Pack. Is where you're going to be. Yeah, Performing Arts Center. There you go, Performing Arts Center. Yeah. Very good. And then Fayetteville, North Carolina, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, or Wisconsin, as uh, our previous <laughs> caller said, called it, because they're going crazy right now. Uh, you're. Um, you're apparently on James Harrison's Instagram feed right now, Gary. You are aware of that, right? Yeah, Pretty like an hour ago. Okay. Why are you on James Harrison's Instagram feed, Gary Owen? Why well, are you? okay. I'm a diehard Cincinnati Bengals fan. Obviously, he's Pittsburgh. Even though he played with the Bengals yeah, for one year. Right. Uh, I roasted the Steelers like 10 years ago at training camp. and Okay, so let's stop right there. Let's take it one piece at a time. Hmm. So you were brought into Latrobe, PA? Latrobe. Okay, mm -hmm. to roast them by who? Who's, who brought the team you? hired me to come in and did and, Tomlin reach out to your agent? Is that what you're saying? Or I don't know. There was another comedian at a, a Pittsburgh guy named uh, T, he goes by T Road Tony Robertson. So okay. he set up. He called me and goes, "Hey, we're gonna come in and roast the Steelers in training camp. You want to come?" They they asked for you. I was like, "Okay." So I don't know who asked for me, but it was uh, 2009, and I went in on James pretty hard. <laughs> And, uh, Is there anything safe for work that you could uh, you could bring I, I to probably, this microphone? I can't. Okay, I, I so you work blue. You work blue. Oh, I listen. If I'm gonna do those football uh, roasts, yes, I don't want no cameras. I don't want to be politically correct. Like I used to roast USC when when Pete Carroll was there every year. Those roasts are legendary with USC players. <laughs> But it was gloves off. It okay. was. I said if there was video of that, okay, I. Yeah, I'd be getting protests at okay. my show. Okay. Yeah. So you wrote. So Harrison remembers you from that, and you've yeah. kept, you've maintained a, a relationship since that day. It's love hate. Well, clearly because he just put on his Instagram account uh, of a, sh a shot of him sacking a Andy Dalton. Not cool. And tagged you to say that your Bengals are going to be the only 0-4 team in the in the North. Guess he's oh in the North. They, I was going to say no. That's what he said in the North because they play each other this coming Monday night. You two might be the only ones actually getting ready to actually watch that game. <laughs> but, but other than that, not uh, happy about that. I have a very the Steelers have very much become. Uh, they become our Ohio State to Michigan. No offense. Well, I take offense, you know, but that's okay. That's fine. <laughs> just because you say we no offense, can't. Gary, doesn't mean just... that uh, because your team, what's the word for it right now? Blow, Frustrating. Blows. Right you now. talking about Ohio State or Cincinnati? No, I'm talking about the Bengals. The Bengals. Right now. Oh, it's so frustrating. No, definitely. Not I tell you, I tell you the there's and there's pictures of this of me at the red carpet when Alabama was playing Clemson, the 2016 National Town game in Phoenix. Yes. They brought me in to roast both teams. So I, I roast Alabama, and then I get— Was in a, Saban in the room? Uh, was Saban there? I don't know. I don't know if he's there or not. Okay. I, and and because all I had to do, I literally went on stage, roasted Alabama. Mm -hmm. Then I got in a car, went over to Clemson's hotel, roasted Clemson. Yes. And it was Saturday night, and it was the Bengals Steelers. So as soon as I get off stage, they had a TV in the side room. Okay. And I'm watching the second half. And when Vontez intercepted and ran through the tunnel, and I'm going nuts, right? I'm going nuts. And then I got Clemson's whole team behind me, and I'm going, the curse is over. I go, come on, you guys are Tigers. We're Bengals. We're together. It's the Cap family. And then Jeremy Hill phoned the ball. I went, delete. <laughs> I took that off Instagram so fast. There's a picture of me on the red carpet. I'm not even smiling. I'm just like this. <laughs> I, I, remember, never. I remember Jeremy Hill. I mean, it was right there. The first win in the playoffs since uh, Sam Weich. Listen, what people I mean, don't realize, Rich, yeah. is I really, the week before is where that. it went down. I blame the Jets. Okay. If they win, uh, they're in the playoffs right. and the Steelers aren't. And then the Bengals play the Jets. And Bengals are going to mop the Jets that year. Uh, oh. No doubt. I think Buffalo beat them or something. I was like, come on. Because as soon as I saw the Steelers yeah. that year, I went, we're both done. Because I knew whoever wins that game is coming out beat up. 
Well, everybody always gets hurt. Everybody, well, Antonio Brown in particular. Right. I everybody mean, came out beat up, and I go, we're done. And then, you know, Steelers had to play the Broncos, always, and they were playing the JV no, team. It was point. like Burfecht always had a list of uh, Ben, Bell, and and Brown, and he'd get at least – He got them all. He'd, get all, he'd ever get every last one of them, and then, you know, he'd – and we're then gone. he would, I know. Because then he, he's the one that, that tore Le'Veon's ACL that one year oh, in the tackle, right? He got them all. Yeah. I miss him. Which is. <laughs> <laughs> I miss that guy so much. Gary he Owen. was like the stepson. Like the Steelers yeah. was the evil step then. He goes, nah, you ain't touching my mama no more. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Owen here on the Rich Eisen Show. Um, did you play football? You in saw? high school. Okay. Yeah, What's was, the name of your high school? You, you get Tal- it to- Talawanda High School in Oxford, Ohio. Okay. They are 4-0. It's the first time they've been 4-0 since 1991. Okay. Oxford is where Miami of Ohio yeah, Miami is, home. right? Yeah, ben Roethlisberger. Ben, ben, right? Wally Serbiak. Wally Serbiak. Ron Harper. Everybody. Okay. I Renewable. And Gary, they come out. And Gary Owen. <laughs> yeah. We got yeah. anybody else? I think that covers it. That's about <laughs> that about covers it. It's the cradle coaches, though. All the coaches of come course, through there. Bo and Woody. And and McVay now. That's right. McVay Harbaugh. Play, well, McVay play, played uh, wide out there. Yeah. Yeah, that was all, all. You know that video went crazy at the Super Bowl last year because Edelman and 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 McVay oh, played right. the same game that's right. one it's Kent year. State. It's Kent State. That's another thing. Harrison is a Matt guy too, James. So he, but he just out of the blue, you had no idea he was going to just throw you under the Instagram bus this today. morning. You know, I'm feeling good about life. Coming on your show, got there a go. special out. You Everything's did. good. Yeah, I'm hopeful. Ben's not playing. Yeah, so the Bengals got a shot, and then James got to do this. Well, what do you think? Monday oh, night. I, yeah, I think we're finally breaking the curse. You if, do. If, if it's the it's lined up, it's this game. Well, if the Steelers lose at home on national television to the Bengals, right, and to fall to zero and four, we would that's you'd safely say that's the low water mark of the Mike Tomlin era in yeah. Pittsburgh. Well, PA. It, it could. And let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. If they keep losing, it could end up being one of those San Antonio Spurs. They had the one bad year and got Duncan. Remember, sure, remember uh, well, the t- the- Robinson was out. I know. And they kind of tanked the season and they got Duncan. That's that, But your problem is that you'd be doing this in the year the Miami Dolphins are tanking like they, they are really tanking. I mean, they yeah. are taking every – name anything with a tank. Fish, uh, uh, Army, anything. They're just taking every possible tank and putting it on display. So you think it's problem. a year premature for the tank? Well, because yeah, you got Trevor Lawrence I mean, coming pick, out you pick next the, year. Oh, that's it. That's right. I think it's a pre year premature Miami. Well, two, two, they're they're tanking for two of this year. Tanking for two. So you can tank for Trevor next year. Yeah, <laughs> set yourself up. Man. I don't want that. No. But I would be happy with the two and fourteen season and beat the Steelers twice. So why is your your special hashtag doing what I do called that way? Well, what, what I in my special I talk about you know and talk about social media mm-hmm. is if you ever see my Instagram page and you see hashtag doing what I do, I'm lying. That is core if I am lying. And I lie. I like lying a lot on social media. Okay. Give I me- lie, lie, lie. I'll stand in front of a yacht and be like, yeah, about to take my new boat out for the day. <laughs> doing what I do. Hashtag doing what I do. And people believe it. Right. Like, I'll literally, I'll go to a, I'll go to a football game and just go to somebody's suite real quick and be like, yeah, just chilling in the suite, watching the game. Then go back to my seat. <laughs> so you crash people's suites just to take photographs and put that hashtag on? All the time. All the time. <laughs> There's one. There's one security lady at, at uh, Paul Brown Stadium in Cincy. Like uh, most security guys know me there. They'll just be like, "Come on, get we'll slide you in real quick." Just for your photograph. <laughs> yep. Have like Mike Brown in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Careful! I don't want to get you kicked out. I don't nah, have any we're good. They don't. They don't take care of me anyways. We're okay. good. I and buy my tickets. And so um, you shot this in San Antonio. Man, mm-hmm. you're about to hit the road too. At GaryOwen.com, tickets are available for that. You're you're in two different cities every single weekend coming up. Yeah, we start the tour this week. The tour starts. It starts this week. Montgomery, Alabama, followed by Fayetteville, North Carolina, and then Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You got five shows in Houston coming up in November. So mm-hmm. okay, everybody should check that out at GaryOwen.com. Thanks for coming on, man. Thank you. I really appreciate that. No, I appreciate you, Rich. No, it's been too long. It has. When, when was the last time we met, Gary? Never. I know. That's what, that's I, what I'm saying. You know what? Because when you said that, you know, um, I always feel when you know when people say to me, you know, hey man, you know, we have met before. Yeah. And I'll be like, I don't remember, and then they get insulted that I don't remember, and it makes me feel like garbage. Oh, really? Yes. So I'll when get that with when fans. You're like, when, you're, when you say, you know, it's, what did you just say to me? You're like, uh, you know, thanks for uh, good seeing you see, again. see you again. I'm like, yeah. oh, it's been too long, you just said. And way that. too long. I know that, and I'm like thinking to myself, have we met before? <laughs> no. 
So when people say, you know, hey, you know, good to see you. And I'm like, yeah. great to see you again. I'll throw in again just, just, just to cover my Lie, first. Rich. Well, that's I mean, what I do. That's Hashtag like, doing what I do. Just lie. That's doing what I do. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's so I, much easier to lie. I don't know why people are so much in this honesty thing. Hmm. Just lie, man. Well, how does your wife feel about that? I'm saying, <laughs> she's look. I don't mean, mean to throw you under the bus. She's fine with there, it. But, I mean, Hashtag doing what I do. <laughs> <laughs> now, she knows it's see, all a joke. Yeah, I, for, on on your anniversary, you Instagram a photograph out of your wedding day with that hashtag. I'll know there's a problem. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, we're gonna be like on the top of the Eiffel Tower with uh, yeah. <laughs> with wine. <laughs> Just you got to do it right, fellas. Even though we're probably at King's Island. That's right. And since with a nice <laughs> green screen, park. I like it. <laughs> And I, I like it. At Gary Owen Comedy on both Twitter and Instagram. Check out again Gary Owen. Hashtag doing what I do on all the Showtime platforms. And then go to GaryOwen.com to see when he's pulling into your neck of the woods. Thanks for coming on, man. One and three come Tuesday morning. You think so, huh? Bengals one and three, baby. Well, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be peeled to your Instagram. There'll be a great photograph Get of ready. James Harrison. Oh, be I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be in the locker room. On, uh, with a hashtag, on Monday night, with a hashtag, chilling with the squad. When Gary Owen gets, that, we'll see that. We will see that hashtag with Gary Owen holding, for some reason, holding up the game ball. That's yeah. odd. Rich, you'd be like, why is David Klingler in the locker room? Is that an old picture? <laughs> Good poll right there. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.